What's up guys, Spicicus here today. I finally get to try the Carolina Reaper Big Bite Hot Dog from 7-Eleven. So hopefully 7-Eleven gave me the correct hot dog this time as opposed to the last time I reviewed something from them. So as we all know, the Carolina Reaper is the world's spiciest pepper right now according to Guinness World Records. It's really just a no frills hot dog here, no frills bun too. So there you see it right there. I didn't get any condiments and you'll see why in a bit. I just wanted to try it as is first to see if I detect any spice. So the spice is there. It's more akin though to a Louisiana hot link type of spice more than anything else. At least the spice does linger a little bit more. It's right there on the tip of the tongue, side of the tongue, but it's nothing that's going to overwhelm your palate. So at least as far as the spice level is concerned, this is probably like a 1 or a 2 out of 10. It's not going to blow your face off, at least for me. And I think chili heads are just going to be finding this very, very pleasurable and almost disappointed that it's being called a reaper hot dog. Offhand, if you blindfolded me, I probably wouldn't be able to detect any reapers in there. All right, folks, enough's enough. We got to spice things up. We got to get some spicy condiments in here, starting with the Beaver brand ghost pepper mustard, but there's more. We got some red reaper ketchup, too. I can just see in the comments right now, how dare you put ketchup on a hot dog? Well, this is Red Reaper ketchup, so I hope it passes muster and has a little bit of an excuse for me putting it on here. I used to put ketchup on my hot dogs quite frequently when I was growing up. Didn't really care a whole lot for mustard. And then my taste buds absolutely changed as I grew up. So we're going to add a bit of this Reaper ketchup here. And then finally, the extra hot ghost pepper mustard. Love this stuff. Got this burnt orange hue to it. And really, really tasty too. It's like a nice deli mustard. And there you go. That's what I did to it. Now it's going to be spice level amped up just a little more. Very obvious Reaper from the ketchup. Very obvious. Now I'm starting to sweat a little bit more, and for a good reason. I'm just going to wolf the rest of this down. I'm really glad I threw the Reaper ketchup on there to reinforce that Reaper experience. And then you can't beat ghost pepper mustard. You got to get both of these products. The Reaper hot dog on the other hand, just a mild spice, nothing to be afraid of. So folks, have you tried this Reaper hot dog? If so, what'd you think? Let me know down in the comments. That's all for this video guys. Embrace that pain and I'll see you in the next video.